Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Beanie TV, where off your sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhale. Open your eyes and flip. Fill the rest of that affirmation with the way that you want it to be. I'm ready for success. I'm ready to be married. I'm ready to live in my authentic being. Whatever that means for you, fill it in yourself. So what am I bringing into 2018? You might ask. I am bringing in consistent spiritual um, practices. I have realized that I'll be doing really good in my spiritual practices, whether that is meditating with my crystals, studying on crystals, studying on chakras, and then I'll fall back into the ways of the world and I have to stop because I'm stopping myself from being, from, from living as the all-powerful being that I am. So in 2018, I'm bringing with me a commitment to my spiritual practices and I am um leaving behind being in a relationship i was in a relationship last year for about six months and i'm not going to do that again i'm not going to enter into a relationship um because of boredom or because of whatever like i'm not i'm going to keep myself with myself love on myself pour into myself i am so thankful that i am entering into 2018 single no prospects not looking at anybody and this is the first time in a long time or ever guys so it is really just refreshing to know that the people that i'm leaving in 2017 they are being left in 2017 they are not coming with me into 2018 and i'm excited to see what i look like what my life looks like without having a partner without having a lover without having um, my eyes, my heart, or my my vagina set on somebody. Like, I am excited to see that. I am bringing into 2018 love-based decision-making. I have, I'm sure I've made love-based decision-making before, but now that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I am making love-based decisions, not fear-based decisions, not decisions based in anxiety. I am making love-based decisions that feel good for me. It doesn't matter what it looks like to other people. I'm doing what feels right for me, like for once. And I'm committing to it. I'm committing to my love-based decision-making. I'm smiling so hard because I'm so excited. I'm excited to make love-based decisions because I know it can only be good. I'm, I'm going to live as who I am, the authentic, spiritual leader, light worker, um, dope ass chick that I am. I'm not looking at what everyone else is doing. I'm not comparing myself to anyone else. I have everything that I need and I'm excited to make decisions based on that, based on what makes me happy and what feels real for me and what my values and beliefs are. And I'm allowed to live this way and that is how that's what i'm bringing into 2018 is love based decision making also i have not had alcohol since september um i used to drink pretty heavily like um back in high school and in college whenever i would drink it would just be excess um and even when i moved to la like there were times where i would drink and it'd be excess and when i drink i cry i get angry and the first like hour is fun and then once i keep drinking i start just like getting mad and it's not a good look at all so and i feel like shit the next morning Ugh. of course i've had mad fun times drinking obviously but there's more times i can count where i did not have fun where i made a fool of myself where i got into a fight with somebody or a, a verbal fight with somebody like so i'm i'm done so i would like to spend 2018 no drinking no sex and I would like to minimize my intake of sugar. I love candy, guys. So I think I would like to try, try to minimize my intake of chocolate and candies and stuff like that. Because I definitely tend to be, like, just go overboard with that. But like I said before, I 
have not accepted myself as a spiritual leader, as an entertainer, as a businesswoman. I have not accepted myself as those things. I felt that I wasn't qualified enough. I didn't have the look for it. I felt that I didn't know what I was talking about. And um, yeah, fuck that because I, I'm it. I'm it. I am a spiritual leader. I am a successful businesswoman and I am an amazing entertainer and all of those are rooted in me being a light worker and rooted in God's will for my life and those things God chose them for me. I literally like didn't choose them. Like those things chose me and so I accept and honor myself as those things and doing those things and um all based in light worker light workerness like light worker life so yeah um that is what i'm bringing with me into 2018 and i'm excited and the thing about 2018 guys is that it feels so different because it is so different everything that we are all preparing we are all preparing for 2018 because we know 2018 and beyond is about to be so popping so lit the manifestation of things that we have been praying for for years is going to happen like can y'all feel that vibe can y'all feel that energy it's like oh my god it's gonna be so lit of course shit happens things are going to happen life is gonna beat us down but we know how to deal with it and we have all the tools that we need to deal with it accordingly so that's what's exciting about 2018 and beyond so share with me below what you are bringing into 2018 and let's go let's get ready let's get ready thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys next year and i'll see you guys in the next video